Tchau. Everybody, let me just pause Ellie Darby. Who else is obsessed with Ellie Darby? Literally, her and her boyfriend make my life. I actually love them with my whole entire heart. Today's video is something I'm really excited for. I see so many of these around on YouTube, but I've never done one myself. If you watch my like day in the life of a basic I'm trying to get demonetized here then you will have heard me say that I never get my nails done I never get my lashes done that sort of stuff I know my face is super red too I think it's a little bit sunburned we talk about this natural tan as well <laughs> I have never been one of those girls who gets their nails done, gets their lashes done, gets a tan, gets their hair cut for holiday. But this is the first year I'm going away with my boyfriend, so I kind of can't look like dog balls. I need to look somewhat presentable, but for myself, I just want to feel a little bit more glam, a little bit more nice. This is the first time for me. I thought I'd bring you all along. I love watching holiday prep videos. I literally spend my life in the garden sunbathing, watching holiday vlogs, holiday prep videos, pack with me's. I think I'm going to film like a pack with me, like what I'm taking on holiday. I feel like this intro is going to be really long and boring, but basically today I am going to get my eyelashes done, which I'm really nervous for because I've never done anything to my eyelashes before. I'm also going to like record a before and after of my eyelashes so you can see a difference, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fab. Sadie's just having hers done. Hi guys. Right, so I'm now driving home from Stratford. I was actually, I went and got my lashes and my nails done with my friend Sadie. I filmed a bit of her getting her lashes done. So these are my nails. Obviously I can't really hold my hands up because I'm a drabby. And this car wants to be Cheers for that, huh? Love you. Yeah, so I got my nails done. I didn't film anything in the nail shop because weird vibes. Let me tell you. The guy who did my nails, there was two guys who kind of interchanged between doing my nails. It was really weird. The guy who started off doing my nails was not doing the best job. One hand of nails is kind of wonky, this hand, and then this hand is perfect. This was the other guy. And they were filing it and sanding it, and obviously, like, they were using sort of, they were holding both hands, so I couldn't have filmed anyway. I always thought getting your nails done would be this really relaxing, nice process you go and you do with your girls um i was wrong it was hot and painful it sounds weird saying it was hot but it was definitely hot like the filing things were hot on my nails obviously i've never had my nails done before so it was a new experience and i love the way they look like i'm happy with them but yeah this guy who's getting in a right kerfuffle and like he kept sort of sticking the plastic things on my nails and taking them off because they were too big so then he sent me out of the shop like he did all the top coats and stuff and like we had to do so many coats of nail varnish because he kept messing it up and he sent me out of the shop i had the top coat on and everything and then I went to go into my jean pocket to get my phone out and it was not dry and all the nail varnish scuffed on I think it was this finger and had loads of jeans fluff stuck on it so obviously I went back to the shop I was like my nails aren't dry do you paint this one again basically and they were like really good about it they painted it again like no questions asked or whatever she was like oh I'm really sorry but Diva which was where I went to go and get my eyelashes done Diva Stratford upon Avon amazing could not recommend enough really friendly service so happy with my outcome 35 pounds for a lift and a tin i got them done by a lady called davinda nothing bad to say really like really really positive experience we'll be going back again um sorry i'm just parking Quite an expensive day of treatments altogether it was 70 quid as you can see my nails are this like really nice baby pink but i don't know if you can see but on one hand the nails are wonky this hand that one is getting off to this direction a bit but it's not really noticeable it's not too bad i feel like it's quite exposed i'll show you inside but yeah so that was me losing my um acrylics virginity i'm quite happy i feel like i wanna do you know what i mean Love it. I look a little bit rough because I haven't got any makeup on, but definitely improvement already. Here is what my nails look like, the colour. It's a super, super light baby pink. 
like I was looking at all the baby pinks and I chose the absolute lightest one it almost looked kind of purpley so eyebrows everyone and their mum wants their eyebrows to look good so I'm gonna be dyeing mine today I bought this Ilia dye brow kit. I've actually used this before, but I literally cannot remember how it turned out. It was that long ago. Two centimeters of cream color with five drops of activator. I love popping the seal on this. Oh, so satisfying. That's satisfying on Snapchat. Two centimeters. Pretty sure that is much bigger than two centimeters. Looks like a turd. With five drops of the activator. Here's the activator. Also, update on the nails. They're kind of bleeding at the nail bed. One, two, three, four, five. It's looking kind of orange, which um could be interesting. Bloody hell, I came here for instructions, not a five page essay. It's one centimeter dye cream, three drops of activating. I had a dream where Cardi B was my stepmom and she died. And then I was in this catwalk and I was in the audience and they started playing one of her songs. And I had to leave the room because I was crying so much. Like, what? Jesus Christ, what am I doing? I'm going to leave that on for, it recommends 10 minutes, but I'm going to leave it on for 15 because it says you can leave it a little bit longer if you want the colour to be a bit darker. Fingers crossed, good luck Charlie. See you on the other side. Moment of truth. Did it do anything? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it did. So here is what my brows look like. Honestly, I cannot decide if I love them or hate them. Also, my face is looking a little bit red. I think it's a little bit burnt. They're definitely darker, but I feel like because I'm not loving the shape I plucked this one into at the moment, it's a bit like a wave. Kind of just highlighted that and highlighted how much they need plucking. I have literally just woken up. This is too much for me right now. Today, I'm going to be using this torture device, also known as... <laughs> I really expected it to turn on when I hadn't plugged it in. Also known as... An later. Yeah, last time I did it, it looked like I'd been attacked by a swarm of bees and my legs were swollen for the next three days. I basically don't want to wax my legs because I'm scared it will take a layer of my natural tan off. So I'm going to try and epilate as much as I can. Why am I like this? Do it, just do it. Honestly, I'd rather have gorilla legs than go through that pain. Fuck that. Ow. Epilating is not happening. Happening? It's too early. Epilating is not happening. Epilating is not happening. Shaving it is. High stress levels. How are you? So I am leaving to go to Will's tonight because he's driving us to the airport tomorrow morning and I'm stressed. However, I am on my last step of holiday prep, which is de gorillering aka shaving. So obviously earlier you saw me attempt and also fail with the epilator. I'm going to be shaving instead because, you know, God forbid a woman has hair on her legs. <laughs> Outrageous. And here's my technique. I go... Amazing, hey? I even treated myself to the expensive razors and not just the 20 pack disposable ones. Pretty moving up in the world. I'm gonna change you because the apple's making me insecure because when am I not? <laughs> it's time to do a face mask. I bought one of those really cool carbonated bubble masks. Ow. What the bloody ass? Oh god, it's already starting to bubble, it's not even on my face. Wow. Okay. Ooh. So it's like no varnish remover. Who remembers those like peel off face masks that just used to burn? You peel them off and they literally did nothing but probably give you a slight allergic reaction. Highlight of every year six sleepover ever. Yeah, I may have gained a few pounds on holiday, but we're not gonna talk about it. So everyone 
why you do this so everyone that is the end of my holiday prep video this video is shambles but hi welcome to my life keeping it real that is the end of my video i really 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 hope you all enjoyed it i think it's fair to say i glowed up quite a fair bit by the end of the video it's all pretty subtle pretty natural but i'm never going to be the girl to have the russian lashes all that jazz no thanks not a bit of me i do hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments down below if you're going on holiday this year and if so where you are going or if you're not going on holiday where would your dream destination be let me know because my dream destination at the moment is ibiza I'm trying to convince will maybe you should all go and dm him telling him to come to ibiza with me i love you all so much thank you all so much for watching if you made it to the end this filter is really testing me thank you so much for watching if you made it to the end as always i have all my social medias linked in the description box down below i'm most active on my instagram so you should definitely go and follow me over there don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to make sure my videos come up in your subscription boxes god it's a look my nan is downstairs she's gonna think i'm talking to myself I love you all so much and I'll see you all very soon at somewhere in the city if you're going because I'm having a meetup so see you there.